Hey, what's up everyone? It's Phil, and today we're going to be doing some architecture scanning with Reality Capture. So first of all, I've got this building back here. It's a recreation center. It's actually across the street from the house where I grew up. But I'm going to be shooting the pictures with my phone down low. Uh, get some real good detail in there, and which is what you're really going to be seeing if you're working on a game. Um, but I'm not really tall enough to get up high, <laughs> so that's where this will come in handy. I'm going to be using the drone to shoot uh, pictures uh, maybe around you know, 20 feet up or so, and then I'll go up higher and shoot down to get a little bit of the roof, and hopefully it'll turn out all right. Now ideally, I should be shooting on a cloudy day. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't work out today. But uh, I have an idea, I'm gonna try and uh, fix that later. <laughs> we don't want any shadows in our texture. All right, so let's get shooting. All right, now I'm gonna be going around all the corners, trying to get all the walls and some of the ground. Uh, I wanna make sure you get at least 30% overlap between the pictures so the software can you know, match up the points between the photos. So I didn't shoot all of the pictures, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, just, you know, for the sake of time, too. And also, as far as the drone, there's a couple of trees around here, which might have been a problem. So anyway, I've got a good number of pictures shot. Let's take these back home and get them all set up in Reality Capture. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back, and here we are in Reality Capture. It has actually been quite a while since I shot the first part of this video. I just got really busy with work and stuff, but anyway, let's just pretend it's later that day. Alright, so here we are in Reality Capture, and here I have all of my photos that I shot. You can open those up in uh, AirFan View here and take a little look. We can see some of the photos I shot. And looking down further. Here are some of the ones that I shot with the drone up higher. And you can see up even higher, so I got some of the roof. Okay, so let's drag all of these. Hit Control A, select them all. I'll just drag them all into Reality Capture. And it'll take a few seconds to load. And you'll see this little yellow triangle on each of them, and that just means that Reality Capture doesn't have this particular camera in its database. Uh, it's fine, it'll still work either way. So now let's come up here to Workflow, and let's align images. And this should only take a few seconds. Okay, there we go, 49 seconds, that's pretty good. And we can already kind of make out the shape of the building. Uh, obviously there's a problem though, is that it's at this really weird angle. So we can adjust that. Let's come up here to Reconstruction, and we'll click Define Ground Plane. And you can see we get this gizmo down here. But first let's go up to Scene, and in this little drop-down box, we can pick how our viewport is going to look. So let's look at it from the top. And I can use the gizmo to just rotate it a little bit. Probably going to have to go back and forth between a few of these different views before we get it right. There's the front. And we'll rotate some more. And if you want to change where this gizmo is rotating from, you can just double-click somewhere. That looks pretty good. 
And I'm going to bring it down so I'm, you can sort of see there's these little th lines near the middle that are a little bit thicker. And it's a little hard to grab them. But there you go. And you can just drag it straight down. And let's look at it from the side. Okay, from the right side. So obviously it needs to be rotated up this way more. Just looking at these lines that are the walls and trying to get them pretty straight. There we go. And so let's grab this little mover line down here and drag it down. I'm remembering this is the ground plane. You can actually see there are these two stairwells that go underground. So I want to drag it. We'll just make it so the ground plane is on the ground. There we go. Okay, let's look at it from perspective again. And that looks pretty good. All right. So next up, let's go back to the workflow tab along the top here. And let's calculate and do a preview. And so now we can see there's another problem is that our box that contains the model is off at a weird angle. So let's come up to reconstruction and set reconstruction region and I'm gonna set it automatically first and that's pretty good but we got a little too much space first of all this side of the building is gonna kinda look bad because I didn't get a lot of pictures over there so let's just grab that blue dot and just drag it over uh, somewhere around here between those two windows and now using my both right and left mouse buttons I'm dragging over a little and use the right mouse button to rotate and I'll pull this one in do kind of the same thing go to about right there where the windows are there we go and let's look at it from the side and there's a whole bunch of space here that is not gonna look good uh, so let's pull this in a little more. Uh, there is a little bit of the ground plane that we'll see later, but this is all we need for now. So let's do another model calculation. And we'll do preview again. It should only take a few seconds. And it should actually go even faster since I'm cutting off some of it. And there we go. And that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so here's the problem though. Again, we want to make sure this is well below those two stairwells. So it looks like it is, but if I want to bring it down a little more just in case, we can just click on the edge of it and we'll get our dot. We can just bring it down a little bit more just in case to make sure there's plenty of room you can always delete it or cut it off later in another program but we want to make sure there's enough room down there so uh, this looks okay but it's definitely not a finished scan so let's do calculation again and we'll do it with normal quality and this one will take a little while, so I'll pause the recording and come back when it's done. Okay, there we go. We are finished. That took just over 11 minutes. And here we go. We lost our texture detail, but don't worry, we can get that back. But as we zoom in, you can see it really looks a lot better now. These windows, maybe not so great. Probably could have shot some more pictures up there. Uh, on the top part of the building but most things look pretty good see these railings are kind of 
half there. But let's double click and can take a look. We can see down the stairs. There's a slight problem there. But this was just a test to show you how it works. Let's zoom over here. And again, we can see this wall. I could have shot more pictures facing this way. Possibly because there was a tree up here, so I didn't get the drone in there. But with these orange lines, and you can see where the camera is, and that I was mainly pointing down into the stairwell in this area. So, if we look in here, I did get a decent look inside the stairwell and some of that trash and stuff that's down there. But yeah, we can pull up and see some of the roof detail, even sort of see some of the shingles. And these chimneys up here, even though they get cut off. And we see these little things sticking up. Uh, and little points poking out everywhere along the edges. If you're doing an entire building, that's not going to happen. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's pretty easy to clean those up with uh, another 3D program. So, let's add some texture to this. I'm just we're all still on the workflow tab. I'll come over to texture. Uh, let's do colorize, and I'll just do normal quality. And this should only take a minute or so. Okay, there we go. Just under a minute, and it looks a lot better with the textures. So yeah, we can really see a lot of that texture detail. Uh, now this is shooting only textures onto the areas where the pixels are. So here where there is very few polygons it's not going to look so good. But don't worry we can do a regular texture, an image based texture and it'll fill all that in. So again let's do the full resolution model and I'll show you where a problem comes in there that you may have to deal with. So let's calculate model, high quality, and again this will take a little while so I'll pause the recording and come right back. Okay so we're back. Uh, it took just under an hour. Hopefully you've uh, gone and done something else like make a sandwich or watch a couple of sitcoms or something. <laughs> But we're back, and you may see this box. Not enough video memory. The scene is too big for your GPU to display in solid slash sweet mode. Use the clipping box to reduce the displayed triangle count. Model will be displayed as a point cloud. So let's close that. And yeah, it looks good, but it is a point cloud and so we can create a clipping box. Okay, so we will come up here to scene and clipping box and we can create one from the reconstruction region and not enough video memory. So let's take that reconstruction region and bring it down. So I'm gonna bring it down just so we see that center part of the building. I'll put it in here and in there. Let's see, yep, oh, let's go out a little bit more. And so now create clipping box from reconstruction region. And there we go. And after a few seconds, we can see it actually now builds all of the polygons. And so now as we zoom in, we can really see I got a lot of much better detail. Still didn't get all of this pipe railing in, but uh, you know, if you take a few more pictures than I did, then it should take care of that. Zoom around here. Yeah, again, this is kind of blah, so we, you could have taken some more pictures and probably should have. But again, this was just quick to show you how it's done. Yeah, looks pretty good. And so, yeah, the clipping box uh, will 
show you the polygons and it may seem like all the stuff on the outside has been cut out it actually is there it just won't show in the program so if you export the model it will all be there so let's texture this again back to workflow and texture and this time we'll do the full texture with the actual image based texturing and this shouldn't take too long okay we're back and finished texturing it turns out that I actually had to re reduce the clipping box even smaller because this model is just such a high polygon count uh, so the texturing is done <laughs> You can zoom in and see it looks pretty good. But the problem is that the texture, or the polygon count is so high that if you can export it uh, as an OBJ or something, but trying to load it into another program will get you nowhere. Uh, all the programs I've tried have just crashed. Uh, so what you can do is simplify the model. It's kind of uh, decimating the mesh a bit. Uh, if we come back over here to workflow and we can come over under process to simplify and you'll see in this tiny little box down here it'll pop up and we can see the target triangle count so we can look at our target triangle count here and kind of figure out how many it is there and I had already set this earlier to about 5 million it was previously set at something like 24 million. Uh, I don't know exactly what the polygon count is, but we're going to reduce it down to about 5 million, which should be easily hand, you know, easy enough for any program to handle. So we've got it set to 5 million, and then we'll just click Simplify. And this actually goes pretty quick, about you know, a minute or two. Okay, there we go. That took just over two minutes. And now we can see things look pretty good. And we can actually increase this clipping box. Uh, come here to edit, clipping box. And now we can actually expand it back out and see the whole building. that down, Let's bring the top up, so zoom out a little bit, and we'll bring the top up, and yeah that is looking much better now, and we can get the whole building in and yeah you're pretty much ready to export at this point let's just double check and make sure everything is not being clipped okay we got our ground inside there move over to this side and we got our ground inside there and that all looks pretty good so you should be able to export this and load it in another 3D program. Before exporting, you may want to come back over here and redo the texture baking because I believe the decimation or the simplification uh, decimates the UV map, so you don't have any UV map left in order to put these textures on there. So I just went ahead and created another texture. It only took a few minutes but then you're ready to come down over here to export export mesh uh, we have our tutorial file that I already saved earlier so we can just double click that and replace it and then we'll get this box uh, just saying you know some of the things you want to save out uh, you want to save it as wavefront obj uh, vertex normals false export vertex colors why not might as well have them in there uh, zoom down the um, 
maximal size of the resolution is 8192. That's pretty big, but it's all right. You can always bring it back down. Uh, we're scrolling down uh, to file format PNG. Okay, that's all good. Just click OK, and it'll start exporting. Only takes a minute or so. And then I'm going to load it up into some other programs and show you how it looks over there. So here we go. This is it in 3D Code. I just loaded it up. Uh, it was laying on its back, so I had to rotate it a little bit. But otherwise, that's it. Just loaded straight in. And it looks pretty good. Now, I mean, imagine if this was like a game environment or something, and you'd probably be down around this level. And you're looking up, and it's, it seems it's pretty cool. Just imagine walking around in here, and uh, you can go and hide down here, and stick your gun out up here or something. Yeah. And come come over here and check out down these stairs. Uh, check out a bunch of the trash that's down there and stuff. Yeah, that's not bad. If we turn on the wireframe, you can see uh, it is a little bit low res around here, uh, <clears throat> especially some of these areas are up higher. But it's not too bad. You could probably save it out as a higher res model than this. This is only 5 million polys. But yeah, it just uh, it's pretty much good to go. I mean, Obviously, if this was a real project, I would have a lot more pictures and we wouldn't have some of these areas like this and we'd have a back on it and it would look much better. Um, but then, yeah, you just bring it in, maybe use the smooth tool a little bit here. You can smooth out some of these. And just use a smooth brush on some of these flat areas and then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, you can do your retopology on this and bake it out, use it in a low res game. Or, you know, use it in uh, another like, feature film animation. Who knows? It's up to you. And here we go. Here it is in Lightwave 3D. Just wanted to show you how it looks in a couple of different programs. Uh, you can see the wireframe here is pretty dense, but it, it loads just fine. You, know, you can zoom, rotate around. Let's move this out of the way. I can go full screen there. And yeah, so you can bring this in, adjust your textures, get it all ready for animation. I want to say a big thank you to Reality Capture for giving me a license of the software to make this video. You can check out their software at CapturingReality.com. Yeah, so if you liked this video and you learned something, please hit that like button. Now subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. I'll have more scanning videos coming up, I'm sure. And leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer them. I don't know everything, but I know some things. And I'll try to answer them. And I'll see you next time.